and welcome to Add More Zest. My name is Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. Happy 5th of June, everybody. I hope you are getting on well with your projects. Um, today's painting is one of the art pieces or museum edition, as it's called. And this one is the Wave of Kanagawa. I've probably pronounced that wrong, um, but you get the gist. So, oh, I've actually stuck the washi tape on the cover paper. That's because I pinned this on my, I pinned this on my easel, ready to do the whip and chat, and then decided um, to do some of my flamingo painting. So I unpeeled it off and then set my easel back up ready for when I was going to do the whip and chat. This washi tape is getting a little bit less sticky, but it has done, what, five days so far? So I think it's not doing too bad, really. So let's zoom you in so that you can, oh, wrong way, so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I am using the tray the new zesty tray in beige thought it matched um this will be launched on friday the 10th i'm also using the clear sparkle pen with a metal tip and i do also have the metal straightener in it as well which is also well the pen and the straightener are due to be released on friday the metal pen tips the single tips are already available so I've got my diamonds for the museum one and I'm just going to start in this bottom corner and go with the diamond that that one is and work my way along and work my way along as we go. Oh and do you know what I have just remembered as I've come in? Melissa sent me a parcel that I think I remembered uh, mentioned on the waffle on the 1st of June and I've yet to show you guys. I do know exactly where it is, uh, but I'm currently, of course, filming this in my craft room and um, Luna was not too impressed that I came in here and left her with others in the room. So I'm gonna have to bring that one in tomorrow over fear of setting setting Luna off again, but I'll do my best to remember to bring that one in tomorrow and show you guys the cute little thing that um, Melissa sent me. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody is doing amazing. I'm loving seeing all the posts on the Facebook group. We've got a real mixture this June um, of people working on projects um, that they already had on the go so some of them are getting near completion. Some people are doing really large paintings. We've got some cards being done. There's just, and some people are doing multiple. So we'll have a picture of, of, of the first one they're doing and then we'll have a picture of the second one that they're doing. So we're getting to see a lot of variety this June and I'm finding that really really exciting so i'm loving seeing what everybody's posting there's a few mystery ones in there as well uh, there's also a zesty wolf in there which is a pretty cool um a zesty wolf that was saved until june so yeah absolutely loving loving seeing them all and it's so nice to see Zesty Wolf again as well um, even though he is up in my craft room I do see him all the time uh, there's still something about seeing him come together bit by bit that just makes me smile right section B is done let's go on to C I've not tipped quite as many in this time because I think I'm I'm over tipping diamonds in when, because I'm seeing the whole painting, I think I need more than I actually do. But then again, I've been known to tip a few in and not have anywhere near enough. 
but we'll see how we go with this one. <coughs> so comments and questions, we're still on the 1st of June at the moment, just in case you're wondering uh, when your comment may come up. So these were actually left on the 1st of June. I don't necessarily do them. I do them in order, but in order of when the comment was left. So if you left one on the 1st of June today, you would still be end of the queue um, and after some people that had commented on, say, like the 4th of June. Um, but yeah, I am reading them all in order. It's got a little bit of a little bit of extra plastic on that diamond, so rather than them not fit snugly, I'll get rid of that one. Um, but Helen says she says she's so glad I'm feeling slightly better. She said if you search CFS Health on YouTube, he explains ME slash CFS. Uh, but it's related to long COVID as well. Um, her mum has now got long COVID too. Trying to get her to slow down is tiring in itself. I can imagine, because once you've been unwell, you want to try and, you know, get back to normality, get back to being productive. And that's what I keep trying to work on each day. I've got a huge list. I did a brain dump list in my book of lists and just dumped everything out of my head. Shop related, YouTube related, home related, everything just got put down on there. If I thought it was something that I needed to do or I had in my head to do, it's gone down on that list. And I'm trying to be productive now by also listening to my energy levels um, because there are tasks there that need doing, you know, while sat can be done while sat down at a computer, and there are things that I need to be up and doing. Um, so yeah, I listed, I listed everything down, and then I sort of have a look at the list and go, okay, what am I in? One, the frame of mind, and two, have the energy levels for, and go go using that as my guide and because my list is so so long at the moment it's working though I'm sure there are some things that I should prioritize over others but I'm getting there okay moved on to Z. Uh, Helen also says she's not got a particular painting she is trying to finish a few she's already got out that is completely fine too. The idea, as I've said in previous videos, is just to do a bit of diamond painting each day or even another craft. If you like to do multiple crafts, then do another craft. But just try and do a bit of it each day if you can. And... Yeah, enjoy yourself. Take some me time. Uh, handcrafted by Helen. She said this is her first whip and waffle. Uh, she didn't know about diamond painting last year. She only started in November. She said she won't be doing a new diamond painting, but she'll work on the one she's already doing. And listening to the waffle each day. Nice to have the company, she says. Thank you, Rebecca. Well, you're more than welcome. Um, yeah, working on an existing painting, there are quite a few people that are doing that as well, especially I think because I'm doing mini paintings. So rather than following along to a big painting, um, they do, you know, following along and, and doing a big painting at the same pace they're doing you know sometimes their own work in progress especially if they only kitted it up near the end of May or maybe ones that they've had for a while and they need that bit of a kick to get done you know maybe one that's that they've had out and they've put away again uh, for whatever reason I know there are a few people that have sort of dug out those paintings 
and are using the waffle to get that project finished off. And I think that's a perfect idea too. I could probably think of projects or things I wanted to do or mixing it up with new ones or mini paintings. I think I could probably do that for probably 12 months of the year with a mixture of saying, okay, I'm doing a heaven and earth design month, I'm doing mini painting month, I'm, you know, doing a, doing a large painting. I think there's, yeah, I, I could whip and diamond paint, whip and chat and diamond paint pretty much every day of the year. <clears throat> um, I just, I'm not always in the mood for filming and talking. And there are other things I need to do, like kitting up and kitting down and all the rest of it. So we'll keep it mixed up. I like doing it twice a year um, as a constant every single day of the month type of thing. But yeah, I'm on to the white now. There's quite a lot more white in this, though there is some scattering, but I'm just working across the bottom and letting that pick, and I've just gone to put that in the wrong place, and let that pick what diamond I do next. I do have a new glue dot in this pen, but I did work with it last night doing some of the flamingo painting. So I have bed it in a little bit and I'm hoping it'll be a little bit easier to use. <coughs> um, next comment, Laura, she says, great timing. She says she got home from work today to find an add more zest parcel on her doorstep. Woohoo! Uh, she's now using her new purple pen to go with her purple zesty tray. Uh, she says the purple pen wasn't available uh, when she ordered the tray. No, they they ran out, they actually sold out. The purple pen is a standard stock item for us. We have a few pens that are available for people to buy anytime and we try to keep them in stock. But we actually had a week or two where we sold loads of them and the stock depleted quicker than what we thought. Um, we did order more before they ran out, but of course they take time to get to us. Um, but yeah, they came back in stock I went back into stock the other day. The cover paper holders in purple flew out. Uh, we ordered quite a few of each of the cover paper holders, not realising quite how well purple would go. But hopefully our next order has combated that a little bit. We've definitely ordered more of the purple. Uh, she says, enjoyed the waffle. She's now off to watch the kitting up well, that's a two hour video to keep you entertained uh, while she finishes off her double section, which she started on last weekend. Uh, she's doing a painting from Courtney. She says that's a lady in another Facebook group. Well, double section. That's like, are you doing that every single day, Laura, or is it just a double section? at the moment depending on time and maybe a single section other times. <coughs> Laura also said she said hands up if you're using a purple zesty tray. There are there's been quite I know there has been a few comments I'm not sure if I've got to them all yet uh, that have occasionally been using the same coloured tray that I'm using. I did go through and most of the pens that I have, uh, that I've been gifted, I have made sure that I have noted down with the pen who it's from so that I don't get muddled up like I did in the December one. Because I do have a list of, of, you know, the gifts that I've been given, but it's never quite been put in one safer place it's it's in a few different places and I'm trying to get more organized and actually get them listed 
on my computer um, so that I have one point of reference. But I've actually labelled up my pen holder as well with where each of the pens are from. So provided I put a pen back in the place I took it from, I shouldn't have any more problems on where pens came from. I keep losing my washi tape on this painting as well, so I just have to keep nudging it. Uh, Amy, she says she's not done any diamond painting since the weekend, if not longer. She's been updating her spares. So she's been typing out the labels on her label maker uh, for a hard card for squares and printing ready for rounds as have the card but she needs to cut it out and she's not looking forward to it uh, so she forgot she also added said she forgot to say was for her spares and as she sticks the label on the card splitting squares and rounds in other fold photo boxes uh, oh, so she's splitting them up and then she's going to use the card she already has for her rounds. Uh, she's also checking that they're not mixed up as they go. Uh, and if so, she puts them to one side and then splits them. Because, yeah, that can be the thing. I had squares and rounds in the same boxes pretty much since I started organizing my squares the, the way I created years ago. I had them all together. Um, I don't think I have managed to mix up a bag yet, but I know some people have. Um, just purely an accident, pulling out the bag of rounds and tipping squares into it. So unmixing them, I can imagine, is not fun. But by keeping them separate from the beginning, you're only ever pulling out the right box for the right shape, which can save any accidental mixing, which can take a long time to put right if you have a pot full of diamonds that are round and squares in the same colour, all mixed up. So the only mistake I've yet to make and can make is putting a colour in the wrong colour tub, which I'm sure will happen at some point. We'll just wait and see as to when. Uh, Polly, she says, hi all. She says, so happy to begin her first June waffle. Uh, she's just received her zesty tray in the post today and she's using it in her waffle. So that's two that got post on the right day. Uh, she says, thank you, Rebecca. She's loving her tray um, and glad that I'm feeling better each and every day. Thank you. Oh, we've got lots of comments, replies on this one. Um, Jackie said, yay. She's been looking forward to this waffle since she got the canvas on her wish list, which is the Winter Tree from Star Raw, which I did in, was it the Christmas Advent or was it a June one? I can't remember now. I think it was a Christmas one. I know I did it in one of my waffles or Advents. Um, she said, unfortunately, though, she's not feeling well enough to face doing it. Oh, no. Everybody is just getting hit by something or other. Um, she says, however, as she has got the Paint Gem mini floral sets, she decided to do the bluebells, the same as me. Um, and she used her purple zesty tray. So there's another one using Zesty. Uh, she's going forward. She's decided she's going to mix it up for June. Um, she's going to do the matching floral pictures alongside me. Um, and she's going to do different bits and bobs from her pile of work in progress until she feels well enough to do her winter tree. 
Well, you've been so excited for your winter tree, Jackie. I think it's right that you save it until you're feeling up for doing it. You don't want to lose any enjoyment out of it by not feeling right. Um, but yeah, lots of comments um, wishing Jackie well. And you can add mine to them, Jackie. I hope you're feeling loads better soon. And, you know, get into diamond paint, even if your winter tree is on a little bit of a hold. Uh, Suzanne, let me just tip some more white in. I think I'm definitely going to need more for this one. Uh, she says she's so happy that I'm doing well. She said she also has long COVID and it strikes out of the blue some days, she said. Oof, don't want that. Uh, she said it's not fun, that's for sure. She's very excited that the June waffle has started. Uh, she finished. She finished the smaller painting that she'd started to do after the sunflower one yesterday and the app chose a new one for her to do today on the 1st of June. She thought it was funny uh, as it chose a moon and water landscape and it has 27 colours, all but two of them are shades of blue. <laughs> she thought it was perfect because it's your favourite colours. Yes, I do love a bit of blue. Um, it has both 517 and 3765, which are two of her favourite DMC colours. She's excited to start it right now. Well, that's good that it's picked one that you're excited to start, rather than it picking one that you think, oh, can you not save that for another event or another day when there isn't an event on? Uh, she is going to miss four days because her nephew's wedding is finally happening this weekend and she flies out on Friday. She returns late Monday, she said, so she'll be back at it on Tuesday and she'll catch up. Well, as this is going live, um, you'll still be there, but I hope that by the time you watch this uh, on your catch up, that you have had an absolutely amazing time. Um, she's hoping to get a few different paintings done this month, depending on one the app chooses for her. Some are bigger and very confetti heavy. So don't commit to how many you're gonna get to do. Just do a bit of diamond painting each day and what happens, happens. You can always continue into July. But have an amazing time. I hope you had an amazing time, Susan. I'm forgetting that it'll be it'll be done by the time you watch this video. Uh, Classy Cat says, love the colours and she's glad that I'm feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Juliet also says, yay, day one done and dusted. She said, went beautifully. Look forward to sharing each day with you diamond painting and the adventures. Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, Nancy says, very excited to join you in the June waffle. She's back. Yes, she is. She's back feeling pretty raring to go. As I'm filming this, I've not yet, not yet got any of my extra videos done that I'm hoping to do throughout June. But I have got quite a few other different things off my to-do list instead. So that's good. There's still progress. And I mix very much between the two. I sometimes have days where I film all day and get loads done filming wise and nothing done otherwise. Um, but yeah, I'm getting getting there with my to-do list so that makes me happy. I always feel like I get more done when I'm being productive. 
Maria says, does it have to be a 30 by 40? No, it doesn't. Uh, I often pick on a waffle, I often pick a 30 by 40. That is primarily due to the fact that it, it bites down into sort of a nice whip and waffle time frame. It, it tends to mean that the waffle is anything between 45 minutes and just over an hour, depending on the section, whether it's a true 30 by 40 or whether it's, it's one that's a little bit smaller than a 30 by 40 also can vary depending on whether it's a round or a square um, but I tend to go for those just because that's what I can commit to for a whip and waffle each and every day. I often will diamond paint for longer than that but it doesn't mean I can stand up and chat and film for that long and commit to it uh, for each and every time. But if you have more time to diamond paint, by all means, do something bigger. Some people also aren't able to necessarily commit the time for more than a 30 by 40. But they may have some days where they have more time than others. In that case, some people have two on the go. So one that they do a little section each day. And then another painting that they do if they've got more time excuse me, more time to diamond paint. They'll then move on to a second diamond painting or some people are doing a bigger one um, and they will do some of it each and every day. So they may be hoping to finish it by June, but they know that they've done some of that painting each and every day. And if they finish it, great. If not, they've got some of their large painting done. It really is completely up to you. Um, the idea of the event is just to have a little bit of diamond painting or crafting time for yourself each day throughout the month of June. I don't want to put too many commitments on it and too many rules on it because everybody's life is different. Um, you know, you need, to, you need to do what works for you and what is realistic for you. And a 30 by 40 is normally what is realistic for me to do within the course of a month uh, when I'm filming a video for it each, each and every time. Though with these mini paintings, I have got some that are taking 45 minutes and I've got some that are taking quite a bit over an hour, especially the likes of, of this one that is a full block and is is long. Uh, this one is probably going to be one of my longer whip and chats. But take each day as it comes. Sometimes I feel like I've finished quite early and am I semi-cheating when I do one of the partial florals and finish it quite quick. My washi tapes have my washi tapes definitely going in in the bin after today, so I'll have to cut fresh out for tomorrow. Uh, and Maria says, "What do you have to do to join? Pick up your diamond painting pen and just go, Maria. That's all you need to do. Pick up your diamond painting pen and start diamond painting. There is a link in the description to my Facebook group if you want to join that." I do have a post that goes up each day for each each day of June to allow people to post their progress on whatever they're doing, whether it be one they started before June, whether it be a new one, whether it be mini paintings, cards or even other projects. We'll be happy to see your other projects as much as we will diamond painting. Um, so if you want to share your progress and you know have the, the camaraderie that there is in the group then feel free to join but you don't have to if Facebook is not for you just pick up your diamond painting pen and place some diamonds down <clears throat> Nicole 
She says she's been going through and watching my older videos. She finds listening to them, uh, listening and watching them to be relaxing. And she said it did get her into diamond painting. She started her first one a month ago. It's a Harry Potter four-in-one painting. She says, thank you so much for sharing your hobby with us. More than happy to share the hobby because I absolutely love it. There's a little bit of little bit of addiction in there, I think. But I think that's what can happen with crafts. There can be a little bit of addiction mixed in, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Right, we're going for some more beigey colours. I do wonder if any of these ones up here will end up matching this tray. Whether I can give it a DMC number. We shall see. Uh, Nelly, she says, hi Rebecca. She said she's doing her crazy dog canvas as part of her June waffle this year. She said she loves them. And that's Nelly from Western Australia. Hello, Nelly. Uh, Renee says, hi, Rebecca. She was looking at how small the diamond paintings are. Uh, and they would also be a good scrapbooking piece if you didn't want to frame them. That's true. You could, if you do scrapbook as well as diamond paints, you could use one of these mini diamond paintings as potentially an embellishment or maybe part of a page. They're about the size of a photo. Well, they're smaller if you include the mount. They're about the size of a photo, uh, if not a little bit smaller. So they would definitely fit on a scrapbook page. I could, in theory, just scrapbook diamond paintings and treat the diamond paintings like a photo. I'm not quite sure how I would do that, but it could definitely be done with these mini ones. I will be framing some of them though, for sure. And I like the idea that I can mix them up as well and change them about in the frames wherever I put them around the house and I can have more. Uh, Colouring with Lou says, thank you for the whip and waffle. She's working on three paintings at the moment. Uh, so she's looking forward to carrying on working on those. One square at a time with your company all month. Awesome. Uh, she said, your bluebell painting turned out lovely. It did. I'm still half and half about putting ABs into the bluebell. Um, I'm kind of swaying towards no, only because, you know, it's part of this event. It was done without ABs. Um, and they're amazing paintings with or without them. But then I do like the way the ABs have shown, have shown up, especially in the the floral paintings. I'm not doing any ABs on these modern art pieces. <clears throat> Is it even, did I, no, museum edition, sorry. These, they're not modern art at all. Some of these are ages old. Um, yeah, I'm not doing any on the painting ones, the art ones, but I am looking to bring in either glow in the dark or AB drills on the space and the flowers, if it works. It may not work for all of them. I will decide each day when I determine which one I'm doing that day because Megan's mixed them all up for me. So I never quite know which one I'm gonna be doing. I could look ahead, but I don't. I find that spoils it for me. So I just take the next one off the pile and set it up. When I finish this one, I'll take the next one off the pile and attach it to my easel. And that will then let me know, of course, what painting it is. So I know roughly how long it'll take me to film. You know, whether I need to leave a little bit more time to film 
for some of these bigger ones compared to the floral ones and I just go with it go with the flow Eline, uh, Eileen, love the bluebells. Um, said unfortunately they won't be able to join in until the sixth of June, um, as they're currently on vac vacation. But they will catch up on all the days. Well, you enjoy your holiday. This is this is where you need to make adaptions according to your life and what is going on in your life. Um, it is the hubby, hubby and eyes, mine and my husband's uh, wedding anniversary this month. We actually hit 25 years married. Um, so we do have a little three day getaway planned um, where I will also be on holiday. Um, I will just prepare mine and do my sections or paintings in this case beforehand and um, that's just because of course I film them and put them on YouTube so there will be some that I do in advance because I'm away but I'll still be getting them all done and that's where you know life happens and just rest assured that I change things up a little bit according to what's going on with my life as much as you guys do. The difference is you see me doing it each day and I'm there, you know, if you <coughs> if you want to watch something while you're getting it done, you just won't be able to watch them in advance because I schedule them ready to go up on YouTube each day. But yeah, there are, there are times that I will be doing the same our son, Lewis, also turns 21 this month. It's his 21st at the end of the month. So I'm sure I'll be doing a little bit in advance uh, so that I don't have to or don't have to think about, don't you know, need to plan when I'm going to do the day's video on his birthday and just be available for him all day but yeah just adapt it around your life and enjoy the catch up as well you can think of it as a little bit of an extended vacation especially if you do it while if you just think of diamond paint while the washing machine's doing its thing then you can still feel as though you're catching up on all your washing or laundry um, but while the washing machine is playing its part and all the tumble dryer, depending on how you dry your washing, um, then yeah, diamond paint in between. I love having a diamond paint day while doing washing, especially if I can, you know, dry it on the line, all the better. And it just enables me to get up and stretch a bit, but I get loads of diamond painting done as well. I just extend your vacation that way. It makes the washing not as bad. Jill says, glad to hear that you're starting to feel better. She said, COVID saps your energy. She says, what a great start to the waffle. She says, take care and take it gently. Thank you, Jill. Uh, Nancy says, she's looking forward to catching up. She's only one square behind. She said, she has ordered the paint gem and used my code. She said, so thank you. Yes, all in the description of every video throughout the month of June, every video where I'm doing these paintings, there is a link to the paint gem website and there is a discount code. So if you do decide you want any of the mini sets uh, and the discount code will work on any of them, whether that be a mini set I'm doing now, one I've done in the past or one I've not yet done, it will work. Uh, it should work on, on anything on the site, even some of the big paintings, if you want any of those. Um, but yeah, just check out the description under this video. 
if you're on a mobile don't forget to hit that little click arrow so that you can see the full description because YouTube tends to show you the comments before it actually shows you the description that we pop in but it's all in there I put all sorts in there um, Colleen says, why don't you turn your LED light pad on plus bring your camera down? Uh, so I don't turn the LED light pad on when I'm filming because it would, well, partly because it's quite bright, this light pad, um, and there would be a load of this section that would have lights. Um, that would be brighter than of course what shines under the painting so I don't put it on partly because I can see plenty I've got two huge filming lights either side of me to make sure that you guys get the best image and don't see lots of shadows dancing about so if I turn these off you get more of a shadow of my hands and you can't see properly which is not good so to me, this is the top of the painting is brighter than daylight. So I don't need the light pad to be able to see where the symbols are. <clears throat> also, it does reflect quite funny in the camera. I don't know if it's got any charge. Um, it can. Oh, it's actually not that bad, but that is it on. So it just ends up where you see a lot more whiteness and I have a lot more light shining in my eyes than I necessarily need to. But if I turn that off, you can still see clearly. Um, in relation to bringing the camera down, the camera is clipped and attached to a shelf on the wall behind me. It has a zoom feature, which is what I've used. I can zoom in more. However, I tend to keep it just a little bit out because I can end up moving um, the painting or the easel as I'm putting the diamonds down. And I want to make sure you guys can see everything I'm doing. Um, but if I move the camera down on the shelf, then for other videos I do like unboxings and things like that where the 